Hi guys, it's Eva <laughs> and welcome to the simple quick review about 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. And this book came out and I believe I gave it four stars in the end. This book came out earlier this year and was getting so much hype and some people liked it, some people didn't, but you know, to each their own romance. Like I am quite harsh on romance, so I really, really get it. Like I get it when people don't like certain romance stories because maybe it like hits a nerve with them and everything. But anyways, I was so excited about this because The Hating Game gave huge reviews and some people absolutely love The Hating Game and I was one of the negative people. I did not like The Hating Game. I don't remember the review I gave on here. I didn't give like a single review, but I did do it in a wrap up and I didn't like it. I didn't like the story. It was okay, it didn't draw me in, I didn't care for it. So I was not going to read this, but I kept hearing about it and hearing about it and hearing about it and some people really, really liked it. Um, and then it popped up like that I was available to like read it and I didn't have anything to read or listen to it on audiobook. I didn't have anything to listen to at the time and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. Even though I didn't like the author's first debut novel, I'm gonna go for it. And I'm so excited I did because I'm one of those people who absolutely love this one. And so many people I was reading reviews like loved the first one but hated this one. So I think if you didn't like it, like me, that you'll love this one. Or maybe you'll love them both. But I absolutely love this storyline. I thought it was more intriguing. I thought, I don't know, I thought she did better with like their emotions and everything. But 99% mine, let me tell you a little bit about it first. Um, it's about Darcy, Tom, and Darcy's twin brother, Jamie. Is so the story follows. The whole story is about Darcy, really. Um, but Darcy has been in love with this kid or didn't really know if she was in love with him but has known him. It is a friendship to love trope in this story and that kid was kind of in love with her. You're not really 100% sure. Anyways, they meet up as adults and she thinks he's in a serious relationship with this woman he's been with for like four years but um and he think, or it's his, it's his fiance, and she has lost somebody very important to her in her life, and it is like going through the story of like what to do with that house and turning over that house and selling that house and getting going through all the stuff, and he is there as the contractor, and this is his very first job, and he's like nervous. Um, Tom is so nervous about his first job going right, and he didn't like his original boss, but he took everything and learned everything from them, and this is his first job on his own. And he struggles a little bit, of course. And then Jamie's kind of out on the, out of the picture on the sideline doing his own job. And um, Darcy, one thing about Darcy is she does have like a medical background. She has a heart issue. So her and her twin brother Jamie are really, really close because of that. And Darcy isn't steadfast like these two, like doesn't know exactly what she wants in life um, or not like what she wants to do in life. She knows what she wants in life, but <laughs> and we just Tom. So there is a ton of like, to me, there's like a ton of angst in this book. Um, maybe not for some other people, but there is like a ton of, he's with this other guy, so I got to respect him, but I'm in love with him. And I've been in love with him for so long, blah, 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 blah. And like, the, he gives a little bit, but you don't really know. And uh, I thought it was done so well. Uh, the romance is really good. It's really like, will they won't they actually because they didn't ever in the past when they were younger and it goes back to when they were younger a little bit here and there and then jamie's story um her twin brother is just i mean it's just a little bit more annoying like you don't really need him <laughs> in the story i really really liked it and i was so glad i read it i gave it four stars it's really hard to get up there for five star for romance i feel like for me um, but I really liked it. I'm so glad I'll read other things by the author. I thought she did a really good job. Um, some people might hate the friends love trope. Maybe that's why they hate it. I thought it was done well. I thought it was better. I thought there was uh, more communication and, um, more why these people like are, should be together than her last one, than the hating game. And I thought she did a really good job with it. And I absolutely love the characters. I liked all the characters. Uh, and Tom is so sweet, right? He is so sweet. That's what I read over and over the reviews. Tom's so sweet. Um, he is really a sweet little character, like chugging along there. <laughs> and I really recommend this one. If you guys are into romances or YA romances, I would definitely recommend this one. It's steamy, a little bit steamy. Um, her other one was really steamy, I think, more. So, but yeah, if you guys would like to, go ahead and check it out. I'll see you guys in the next simple review. See you guys next time. Bye.